we're facing all these problems. We've got a Conservative Party in the UK in a rapid downward spiral, it would seem, if you believe the opinion polls and see the arguments. A Labour Party massively ahead in the polls. Sir Keir Starmer is almost certainly going to be the next British Prime Minister. I just wondered, has he reached out to you at all in any way? I'm not reaching out. I'm not president right now. I'll no. reach out if it's appropriate. Uh, it's not my job to but reach he, but out. He's not many out of to them, you. Many of them call me, many foreign leaders. Uh, I had Viktor Orban here, who was a very powerful leader in Hungary and prime minister. And he actually said the reason the world is exploding is because Trump's not president. If Trump were president, none of these things would be happening. Well, we'd also, we also got China to think about. And our friends at Sky News Australia wanted me to ask you this. The AUKUS deal that's in place on nuclear submarines, America, you know, the UK, Australia, very, very important deal. It's there to try and combat that huge growth, naval growth in China. But now, of course, things have changed in Australia. We've got a Labour government in Australia. The previous ambassador, Joe Hockey, I think was quite a good friend of yours. You, you got on pretty well with him. Now they've appointed Kevin Rudd, former Labour MP. I mean, he has said the most horrible things. You're a destruct you were a destructive president, a traitor to the West. And he's now Australia's ambassador in Washington. Yeah, well, I don't know. Would you take, would he, you take a phone call he from him? He won't be there long if that's the case. I don't know much about him. Uh, I heard he was a little bit nasty. Uh, I hear he's not the brightest bulb, uh, but I don't know much about him. But if, uh, if he's at all hostile, he will not be there long. Fair enough. Finally, are you looking forward to this campaign, this election? I've been, I mean, I've been campaigning. These, I've been got, campaigning. This how is, are you doing it? You've got all these legal cases mounting up. They valued Mar-a-Lago. Yeah. At eighteen million dollars, I mean, because what, the courts are rigged. What's going the on? The courts are rigged. They did. They valued it. It had an appraisal at one point five billion, one billion, two billion. Who knows what it's worth? It's worth because that was good for their narrative. So they valued it at eighteen million dollars because it's a crooked legal system, very crooked. That's why people are leaving New York. Companies are fleeing New York because of even this decision. They're leaving New York. And no, they come after me because I'm in the election. If I didn't run, or if I was in fourth place, or fifth place, or ninth place, uh, there'd be no, uh, no, no attacks. And if we don't win, I'll tell you, I made the statement the other day, November 5th, that's election day, yep. not that far away, November 5th is going to be the most important day in the history of our country. With that being said, seven months is a long time when you have somebody as destructive and incompetent as this president, that's a long time. A lot of bad things can happen to our country in that seven months.